In this lesson, we're going to learn the left and find function. Also, we're going to learn how to combine the left and find function to make our left functions more dynamic. So let's dive in. Now, first I will demonstrate how the left function works. Let's say with our city, comma, and state column in column A, we want to extract just the city names inside of column B. What we can do here is click inside of our cell B2 and then type an equal sign to start our left function. And then when we type left, as you can see, there are two different arguments. The first argument is our text. So this is where we highlight text that we want Excel to be extracting from. You could also write out the text inside of quotes if you'd like. However, in order to make this dynamic, I would recommend using cell references. So in this case, if we want to extract the word San Diego from our cell A2, what we can do is click on cell reference and then the number for the characters. This is where you would specify how many characters long you want to extract starting from the left. So here the word San Diego is nine characters long. And just to describe what characters are in Excel, this stands for either letters, numbers, spaces, or any type of symbol that counts toward the character count. In this example here, the S in San Diego would be character one, the A is two, the N is three, and the space is four, and then so on. So here if we want to extract the word San Diego, I've put in the number 9 here, and that will extract the word. However, let's say we wanted to drag this for all of our different cities. We can't be using the number 9 as our character count number, or else it will cut off or include too many characters for each of these city names, as they are all different lengths. What we can do here is the number of characters argument of the find function, Instead of putting in that number, like the number 9 in this example, we can replace that with a find function and have it find that comma, the character count number of it, and show how far to extract. So let's check this out. If I come back into our cell and do the left function of our text, I'm going to go in again and click on our cell here, A2. And for the number of characters, instead of typing the number 9, we're going to use a find function. Now, what the find function does is it will return a number to you based on what particular character you're looking up. So it will tell you the character count number location. So for example, if we were looking up the spaces in our San Diego cell, it would tell us that the space is character number 4 because it is thereafter S-A-N characters 1, 2, and 3. We have that space as number 4. In this case here, we're looking up that comma. So I'm putting a comma there in quotation marks. And next within that text, this is where we're going to go in Excel where we want to look for it. So here, for example, it's going to be cell A2 again. And the start number argument there is optional as signified by those brackets. We don't need that one, for example. So I'm going to close my parentheses and show you what happens. When I clicked enter, as you can see, it extracted the word San Diego. However, it did include that comma, and that's because the find function is reading the character count number of the comma. In this case, let's say it's character number 10. It's pulling up until the 10th character. So let's have this adjust for every time it finds the character count number of the comma and then subtracts one. So we don't include the comma in our output. The trick here is I'm going to hop right back into the formula here, and we're going to move back into our left function. And if you ever get confused when you're in Excel and you're like, which function am I in? We got a function in a function. Always look at which one popped up over here on the screen and which argument is in bold. That will let you know which one you're actually in. So here's where we want to adjust our number of character arguments of the left function. We have our find function here, that's pulling whatever character count number that comma is in. In this example, it's character number 10, and we want to add a minus 1 at the end. So it'll take wherever the comma is, pull that number, and subtract 1 for each of the different cities on our list. 
And now when we close out of our parentheses, it will pull that word San Diego. And when we copy it down, it will go in and adjust for each of our different city names. This is a great use case. If you have a list of particular items that you want to extract that are varying lengths, this is a great function combination to use.